What's up? What's going on guys? I'm Rick Shaw and today we are going to be making a marijuana tincture with some uh, Rockstar Kush that has been decarboxylated and you can see that in one of my previous videos. We are also going to be using some Everclear which is uh, like 95% proof clear grain liquor and without any more talking we are going to get into it. We have our workstation all prepped here. Um, now, this is some stuff that I made, uh, what did I make, what did I do with this? Okay, so this was made May 10th, 2005, and it's been, uh, filtered, like, I don't know, four times when it initially got done, once a few months ago, and, uh, it hasn't separated anymore at all, or none of the crystals have gathered to the bottom, um, but, anyways, it's 2.7 ounces of moonshine, um, 10 grams of Elysium from Delta 9 and it was decarboxylated and it was made at 1.30 p.m. on May 10th. Uh, so yeah, like 6 to 8 drops under your tongue, you let it dissolve and um, you're going to be feeling uh, body high for, I don't know, about 8 hours guys. And you're still clear headed, you're still uh, able to function throughout the day. It's really good for working and running errands around town, you don't smell like marijuana and uh, your body is just relaxed. If you have any kind of uh, like autoimmune diseases like multiple sclerosis or anything where you have uh, like chronic pain, uh, muscle, muscle spasms, anything like that, this stuff is great. I know a lot of old people who really love this stuff, old people in the sense like 55, 60 who have worked their whole lives and they love this. So. Uh, that's actually how I got turned on to this. One of my friend's dads asked me if I could make this. So This one's Master Kush, Cannabis Indica, contains Bacardi 151. Uh, that was before I got this Everclear uh, clear grain alcohol. This is a uh, dark grain. Um, five to eight drops per hour till dose is found, like I've been saying. So pull some up here, guys. Now. I don't know if you can see that, but so I make it with uh, I don't know what I did with this one or two ounces. These are just little eyedropper RX bottles, um, glass pipette. Here's the box it came in. You can get them at a uh, medical supply stores, sketchy pharmacies. I don't know anywhere. I got charged like a dollar a piece for them at this one pharmacy. I found them at. But we're going to get these out of the way. Uh, I store them in um, a cool dark location. They've always been in a cupboard uh, ever since they've been made. So what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to get a mason jar, um, a shot glass, one ounce shot glass. We are going to do uh, just one ounce of this. I don't know if you guys can even see that. One ounce. That's uh, one and a half ounce and one and a quarter ounce. This is still a sealed bottle. Um, hasn't been opened yet. And then we got this fresh out of the oven. I'm assuming this will be hot. No, it's cooled off enough. Um, here's the material we're working with, guys. It's really nice. Just decarboxylated it. Uh, so we're going to pour it into this mason jar, hopefully not spilling. We are going to be spilling. Let's use our finger real quick. Sure, there would have been a better way to do that, such as pouring it onto a piece of paper. If I would have a card or anything, that would be much better. My apologies for not being more prepared. I didn't really think that through. Okay, so we got it in there. Now we are just going to take, I'm not sure, listen for the crack. Oh, oh, I can already smell it. Oh, I can already smell it. Oh, man, I do not like the taste of alcohol, the smell of alcohol, and oh my gosh, I can already smell that. 
You might be wondering, Rickshaw, how do you consume tincture? Uh, I don't really drink this stuff. I more so just make it, give it to people. So, I'm going to do this without spilling any. I'd say it's more important not to spill after. Uh, I'm not sure if an ounce is going to completely cover this. You want to, yeah, we're going to do two ounces, guys. That should be good. You just want it to be completely submerged like that. Maybe I should have used a different container, but it's uh, still going to be very potent stuff. We're going to filter it in, like I said, 10 days. Um, right now, what we're going to do is go put this in the freezer, and then twice a day, for the next 10 days, we are going to just open up the freezer, make sure your lid's on very tight, and just give it a good old shake. Try to get as much as the schmeagles from like off the sides and the top as possible. Just kind of rinse it around, you know. I guess every time you do it, you're going to have different ones coming in and out. But just throw it in your freezer now, guys, and continue to shake it for the next 10 days, and we will be back then. Okay guys, so we're back. It's been 10 days since I made the last video and put the tincture in the freezer. I don't remember how I left off, but I've been shaking it twice a day in the morning and at night um, for 10 days, like I said. And uh, I don't really need to explain what's going on because it's a continuous video, so here it is. Um, you can see, because it's the long process, it's 10 days. So it gives it a lot, like a long time to suck all that chlorophyll out. Um, if I would have taken this out a bit sooner, it would have been lighter, but it wouldn't have been as potent as this is gonna be. Um, yeah, we're gonna filter this now. We have our 250 mil one cup measuring cup um, that we're gonna filter it into and then put it in a mason jar. Uh, I should have had my other tinctures out. I don't have any more of these, and I don't really know where to get them. I'm sure I could order them online, but I don't really want to go to any pharmacies, like I was talking about previously, I'm sure. Um, so mason jars work. So we got a big square of cheesecloth, and we cut it into, or we folded it into four quadrilateral. Oh yeah. Oh, whew. That is, that's something. Okay, so. Uh, definitely, definitely have gloves on. I would have put them on at some point during this process because you have to squeeze, um, you have to squeeze the cheesecloth to get all the medicine out of it and uh, that's going to soak into your skin not as deadly as can of butter I would think but pretty pretty deadly so we're just going to make sure we got it all moving around pour it in one nice motion make sure you get all the drops just let it drip because look at that one day two days three days essentially of medicine oh yeah almost at 50 milliliters already um how does this work one milliliter is uh... two drops try to get an extra milliliter half sorry about that we were just interrupted um, so we have it all dumped out like I was doing now we are going to just lift up the cheesecloth continuing to hold everything over get the drops from in the screen Okay. 
So we're back again guys, um, I apologize for not adjusting the camera, I completely forgot, I was a bit medicated, and it completely slipped my mind, imagine that, right? So, uh, we got a few more drops here, get that, get it all, and uh, it looks like we have just under 50 milliliters, um, so now we are going to grab a couple coffee filters. Place them across. I place them over it ever so carefully because it tends to pop up. So now we're going to start the first filter. Oh yeah, there's a lot of plant material in there. But it looks good. It looks good. Happy with that so far. Should have poured it a lot slower as you guys may have seen it. I wasn't even thinking about how a coffee filter works and it absorbed around it. I definitely lost some medicine there, but um, that's fine. I can squeeze these out after too. Uh, that's like some, I think they call that like dragon's breath or something. I could be wrong, regardless. It's going to be nasty and it's going to be potent. So we're just going to let that drip for probably about a half an hour or 40 minutes even and then we'll be back so it's all the way done dripping almost guys um, could have worded that a lot better regardless now we are going to flip this up and squeeze it we are going to kind of start squeezing from the top get as much as that out. We want to correct our mistake as much as possible. You guys aren't going to pour your stuff that fast into your coffee filter, I know it. Oh, that is pure green. Beautiful. That's pretty much all that I really want out of that. That's all I'm getting. Um, so what we're going to do now, guys, is the dishes, because we're responsible adults. Um, but then in about 15 days or something, we'll be back and we're going to filter this again. What's up? What's going on, guys? It's been 15 more days, and we are back one more time, and we are going to be filtering this through another 25 micron unbleached coffee filter. Um, so we got everything we need set up right here. I just want you guys to see how green this is, but not only that, how it's separating again. So I'm not exactly sure what it is so I don't want to say but I'm assuming it is fats acids um, I, I honestly just don't even I'm not really sure what's separating out but it's more plant material so we're gonna we're gonna filter it so we get a cleaner final product and then we're gonna um, we're gonna try it out guys we're going to try out about five eye drops, maybe even more. So, don't have to do it as quick, oh that stinks, holy. Don't have to do it as smooth and quickly as you would when all the marijuana is still loosely in there. So, just going to pour it slow, don't want it to climb all the way up the coffee filter again even though I suspect it will I like how I never put gloves on until we start filming 
That's my favorite part of this relationship we have, you guys. So, gloves on. You're filtering this. Has a very slow drip. It's Thanksgiving today, guys. What are you guys thankful for? Hope you're thankful for something. Uh, we definitely lost about 10 to 12 milliliters also um, during the first processing uh, through the coffee filter. We're probably going to lose like one more maybe. I'm not really sure. We'll go in through the side view. All I know is this stuff is pretty nice. So yeah, we're going to continue filtering this, and we will be back for the tasting, guys, so one minute. Fire. Okay guys, so we're back and we're going to be using this eyedropper and we're going to be trying this tincture. Oh, that is, you guys must be sick of hearing it, but that is stinky, so. There is the medicine. And it's full. Now we are gonna we are gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is the recommended dose for this. Um, let it dissolve under your tongue. Let it you know do whatever you want. However, we are gonna be taking a bit more because we have a very high tolerance. We do not smoke any flour over here. We only smoke concentrates. So we are gonna be taking six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twenty-eleven, twenty-twelve, twenty-thirteen, twenty-fourteen, twenty-fifteen, twenty-sixteen, twenty-seventeen, twenty-eighteen, twenty-nineteen, twenty-twenty, twenty-twenty-one, twenty-twenty-two, twenty-twenty-three, twenty-twenty-four, twenty-twenty-five, twenty-twenty-six, twenty-twenty-seven, twenty-twenty-eight, twenty-twenty-nine, twenty-twenty-ten, twenty-twenty-eleven, twenty-twenty-twelve, twenty-thirteen, twenty-fourteen, twenty-fifteen, twenty-sixteen, twenty-seventeen, twenty-eighteen, twenty-nineteen, twenty-twenty, twenty-twenty-one, twenty-twenty-two, twenty-twenty-three, twenty-twenty-four, twenty-twenty-five, twenty-twenty-six, twenty-twenty-seven, twenty-twenty-eight, twenty-twenty-nine, twenty-twenty-ten, twenty-twenty-eleven, twenty-twenty-twelve, twenty-thirteen, twenty-fourteen, twenty-fifteen, plus like a little squirt, so probably about <clears throat> like 30, 30 drops. Now, for those of you who are like me and uh, have a very hard time getting alcohol past your throat, like down your throat, you just kind of gag on it a bit, um, this is what I like to do. I like to get some ginger ale. You know, I also like to have water, so we got a water here too. Um, so we're just going to pour a bit of ginger ale in there, it's going to come to a really nasty color and separate very quickly. So we're going to shoot it up, shoot it back. Cheers guys. For 30 drops, they sure pack a punch of flavor. Ugh. Some people might like that flavor. I really don't know. Um, you can definitely taste it. The cannabis. You can taste the cannabis, which is surprising to me. I thought I would be t getting a lot more of the Everclear flavor since it was so much more dominant and just the uh, aromatic. Um, 
area, but uh, I don't really know what I'm saying, guys. I'm gonna let these drops kick in, and I will let you guys know in about two hours how they work. So um, yeah, peace. What's up? What's going on, guys? We're back. It has been um, about two hours since we consumed the tincture. Uh, it's definitely kicking in to the point where it's noticeable. It would be really nice to basically run around town doing errands like this. This is a good state of mind. You're clear-headed. Your body is relaxed. Your limbs feel loose. They feel good. They, uh, you don't hurt. You don't feel like you just smoked a joint or a blunt or a bong rip or anything like that. You don't feel like you just took a dab. You just feel relaxed, nice, good. Your limbs, like for me, every every time I would do this, normally just bend my knee, it would it would almost walk up, crack, and hurt. But uh, I don't know. It's almost like the tincture just completely brings down all the pain throughout your whole body and just improves your quality of life. You might be watching me like, oh, that guy's completely fucked out of his mind, but I assure you, I'm not. I won't be operating any heavy machinery, but I. Uh, I'm definitely not stoned or anything, so we might as well get to that. Without any further ado, we're going to take a quick little dab. Um, I hope you guys like the video. hope you guys try some tincture. Try making some tincture. Try decarbing some weed. Try making something. I don't know. If you're not trying, I have no idea there. I was just going to go for some motivational quote, but I don't even got one, so... Without further ado, we are going to let this cool off for a few seconds. We're dabbing a mini slab that we made the other day together. <sighs> Cheers, guys. And there we have it. We're, we're floating on a dab cloud. We are completely medicated from some tincture. I need to go lay down, guys. Or something. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe, favorite. Peace.